Welcome to a wonderful Pesach celebration and Seder at Michael's Lounge. I'm Blanca Mashi, Michael's wife, and welcome to our home, celebrating with our family and friends. We're really excited to have you here. The story of Passover is one that touches us all. My family has had this Haggadah, which we have read from every Passover for decades. And the children will remember the story of the Haggadah represents the exile of Jews from Egypt. And as you read through Haggadah, you go through the customs, the rites, and the traditions to commemorate the amazing story of our Creator, God. He told us with an outstretched arm, I will set you free and provided for us wonderful miracles and signs to remember. In our family Haggadah, here are the 10 plagues that the Lord sent to soften Pharaoh's heart. As you can see, there were 10 plagues that were sent to Egypt to affect all of the people in Egypt at the time and to convince Pharaoh to set his people free. The first plague was blood. The second plague was frogs. The third plague was lice. The fourth plague was wild animals. The fifth plague was cattle. The sixth plague was boils. The seventh plague was hail. The eighth plague was locusts. The ninth plague was darkness. And the most frightening plague that the Lord our God sent upon the land of Egypt was the death of the firstborn. Now this was meant for Pharaoh to give his own curse and he thought he was giving the curse upon the firstborn children of the Israelites. But that was the curse that Moses told him the Lord was gonna send upon his own people. So although it's cause for our celebration, our freedom from bondage in Egypt, we also remember that it is the death of the firstborn Egyptian children as a result of that last plague that the Lord sent upon the land. When I was teaching my children when they were little, I would use finger puppets because that's the easiest way to represent these plagues. And one by one, we would go through each of these plagues and they would remember the first plague was blood, the second plague was frogs, and so on. However you choose to teach your children and tell them the story of the amazing exodus from Egypt. We suggest that you do it. We encourage you to do it. Uh, it's very important to remember the amazing miracles and signs and wonders of our Lord God.